Hey Floss Tube! Welcome to my new Stitchy Home, or the channel is My Stitchy Home. Uh, my name is Becca and today's date is Friday, August 7th, 2020. And I'm coming to you from the house that we are in the process of moving into. Uh, moving day is actually Monday, August 10th, but we've been bringing boxes and small pieces of furniture over for well <laughs> a couple of weeks and we we did get the flooring put in however here in my office i'm i'm sitting in my in my office uh, a, a few little things projects are on the floor but i really can't put anything in here because uh they didn't install the floor correct they're gonna have to take it up and relay it and so that's probably going to be another two or three weeks before they get that done. Um, I'll show you in a minute the the problem area. Um, I think I can. If you don't get sick, let's see. If you can see, let's see. Ah, I don't know if you can see it or not. Yep. <laughs> I can't wait to check that out, what that looked like. That is probably awful. Uh, bottom line, they were supposed to lay the floor at a 45 degree, well, they were supposed to lay it parallel to the French doors or the entrance into the sewing room. And, um, Let's see here. Okay, so there's the French doors. And there's the floor. And I don't know if you can tell that that last board is not parallel to the French doors. Because they started the floor at the far corner. And so by the time they got to the doors, they cut everything assuming they needed to cut 45 degree angles on the boards and they didn't so <laughs> they're going to take it up and a different crew is going to lay it starting at the french doors and then working their way that way uh, and hopefully then that will um that should work out <laughs> and i see i'm getting a notification here on something so okay anyway uh I think I last spoke to you the day after we closed on the house. So we were here, the, the guy was measuring the floors um, to, to lay this hardwood, the gray hardwood. And so that's been done in all the bedrooms. And like I said, the office just gonna have to be redone. And unfortunately that means my CRAP, <laughs> my beautiful needlework and sewing stuff is, uh, let's see if I can do this. Because I don't know how to switch the view while I'm recording. But there's the dining room. Full of crafty stuff. And then here's... <laughs> Some of this is actually kitchen, laundry, you know, other... Belongs in other uh, rooms in the house. And, and has not been put away because we're supposed to be getting new furniture. So... Anyway, we're we're making progress at just getting everything over here, and I I unpacked some of my silk flowers and a, a couple of little uh, cross stitching projects, um, just so there'd be a little. And then there's a quilt quilted table runner I made, just so there'd be a little something pretty in here, encouraging me that one day soon. In the next couple of months, I will have a sewing room, a crafting room, and I will be able to, um, did I show you that? That's just temporary. <laughs> everything, everything is just temporary. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm not getting a lot of stitching done, but I crave it, and I know you know what I mean. 
I want so bad to have just a few minutes of stitching and so when I do probably about every other day I get maybe 20-30 minutes of stitching in which is nothing at all like I'm used to. Uh, I'm retired, I don't work outside the home and so I normally can spend several hours a day stitching, stitching or sewing and that is not the case right now. Um, part of the problem is if I'm doing a lot of packing and lifting, the arthritis in my hands causes them to feel just really sensitive and it's very difficult then to uh, hold a needle and um, hold the Q-snap. So it's not that I don't want to stitch, I want to stitch. It's just I'm either exhausted beyond belief or my hands are hurting and I'll, sometimes I just take the Q-snap <laughs> of my project and just kind of lay it on my lap and and that's that's the best I can do <laughs> is just look down at it and think oh well it's pretty and and I'm making a little progress here and there um, but the end is in sight our furniture will move over Monday the 10th my sister-in-law and her kids are coming uh, from Ohio to help us unpack and and come up with some sort of temporary storage of everything because uh, we've we've ordered a media center we've ordered a dining room table and chairs some side tables uh, lazy boy recliners for my sewing room I did get a sit stand table desk from Ikea and I can't put that up because I need to be able to empty this room out whenever they come to relay the floor um, but anyway, <laughs> once, once we get moved and once the family leaves, um, I've got a stager that's going to be working to get our old house ready to sell. And, uh, I've never used a stager. Oh, sorry about that. My arm is getting tired, but, um, I've never used a stager before. But I decided to um, uh, give it a try and because I really felt like I could use the assistance with, um, you know, meeting contractors and monitoring their work. And, and that's what, sh what she does. So um, I'm very grateful that uh, our realtor put us in touch with her. And so by... A week from today things should be looking much better um, I'll probably be sitting at the kitchen table stitching when I can until our recliners come and then I'll stitch in my recliner <laughs> but um, I just wanted to jump on because it had been uh, I'm trying to think. We closed July 2nd, so it's been a month. Yeah, a little over a month since I recorded. And I realize this is not uh, stitching. <laughs> it's just life update. But uh, I want to say particular hi to my cousin Lynn, if she's watching, and to Stacy, the 911 stitcher, and to Brenda, the handwork maniac, and, and to some of the folks that have followed me from the very beginning. Uh, Loretta and Mary and Mel, I I just I miss you guys. I miss miss the interaction and um, just feeling like I'm you know with my stitchy friends. So I just wanted to say hi and and I'm here and <laughs> um, I'll talk to you again soon and hopefully have things uh, probably the next time. Maybe I really will be moved in to this room. That would be nice. Or I'll just jump on and show you what I have progressed on in the last couple of months because I didn't, I don't have any of that with me here. So sorry. <laughs> but anyway, I hope y'all are doing well. Take care. Uh, be safe. And um, 
Thanks for stopping by my new stitchy home. Bye, everybody. Happy stitching.